Hello, and welcome back everyone. Today we'll be covering a life post Vithu's nerf. For those unaware, Vithu's was providing double the attack speed of the tooltip displayed in game. On top of that, there is speculation that either the bonus attack speed could be reduced, or it kept players above the attack speed cap even when reduced by a debuff, making Vithu's easily the most used and best overall set in the game until this point. So where do we stand now, and what should we be using? Well, we're going to discuss each class and give some potential options in regards mainly to PvP due to its influence on the game. At the moment, just about everyone is farming new sets for H6, and the more info we all share with each other, the more everyone can benefit. So I encourage you all to leave comments on this video so I can in return help share the feedback, especially with H7 nearing rapidly. Before we get started, we need to cover one thing about attack speed, and that is being aware that it also reduces cast time. This is arguably one of the main reasons Vithu's was so strong. If you've ever had a cast interrupted before it went off, you'll know the ability went on cooldown, but the ability did nothing for you. This is pretty self-explanatory in terms of its importance for PvP, but consider if Vithu's was keeping players above the cap, even when debuffed. If you had 10% attack speed from reforges and gear, and 60% when Vithu's was active, you'd be at 170% attack or cast speed. Now if you've recently changed sets away from 4-piece Vithus and tried to cast when debuffed, you might be trying to cast at 75% speed, or more than twice as slow. And this might be why PvP has felt really clunky to a lot of players recently. Or if you've had an enormous difficulty getting abilities off, this can easily shift class builds and class composition metas. Alright, with all that out of the way, let's get started with classes. First up, Barbarians. Vithus is still an option here for some of the burst builds out there, but Grace will likely be the choice for Whirlwind builds again. And as much as I dislike it, Whirlwind will probably return as the dominant build at all resonance, since the interrupt it provides will be even more effective for preventing enemy casts from going off. For players choosing builds other than Whirlwind, there are still several sets that will be viable. Gloom Guides certainly has the potential to be paired with dashes for extra damage, Shalbas has potential, and you could stick with Vithu still. You'll still get the additional 30% attack speed, provided you don't get slowed. Crusaders. Feedback's going to be very important here, as there's so few Crusaders that spam BGs. Builds making use of dashes can still capitalize on Gloom Guides, and if you're playing support of any kind, two-piece Vithus is probably still included, and four-piece could potentially still be an option. However, I think we might start to see more tanky Crusaders possibly running things like Mountback as the four-piece option. Demon Hunters. Vithus was ran by the vast majority of players in this class, and so far, it might still be the best four-piece option. But overall, Demon Hunters were hurt fairly bad by this change. Two-piece, increasing the duration of Vengeance is still very good, and four-piece is still fairly consistent since for the most part you can stay in the back lines firing away without much fear of being slowed. However, this is pretty disappointing since Demon Hunters had recently had an increase in the skill ceiling of their class with the new scape essences, and now the strength of those and that build is fairly hindered due to the lower attack and cast speed. At first glance, it's possible that something similar to the original Demon Hunter builds we saw that sat off screen firing blindly might come back into play. Monks. Again, Vithus is still an option, but since you're in melee range, you're very vulnerable to any form of slow that comes your way, which might render it impossible to get out alive after you engage. Gloom Guides and Barons are both good 4-piece options, and I suspect one or both will see more use depending on the amount of resonance your character has. Necromancer. Also affected pretty strongly by the Vithus change, largely in part due to the cast time that we talked about before. Some Necros were running 4-piece Barons at lower resonance, and that probably won't change, since Support Necro is still very good at all ratings. We might even start to see 4-piece Barons at higher resonance, and this might leave Necros more vulnerable than before without the burst from primary attacks and ability to get their casts off, but honestly, overall, Necros are still in a great spot in terms of PvP strength. Wizard. First, I think we need to separate traditional Beam Mages from Battle Mages. Beam Mages will certainly still have options with Grace, and that really won't be affected. Battle Mages are probably more affected than any other class or build. They were reliant on getting into melee range as a ranged class, 
at being able to lock up opponents while having the ability to still cast their own skills. Gloom Guide, Shalbas, and potentially even Barons will all make you hit harder in one way or another, but they won't solve the issue of being unable to cast yourself. So if you don't get focused, you'll still deal a lot of damage to the enemy players. But that ability to do so will be vastly diminished if anybody gets on you. Again, any and all comments are appreciated as we all try to figure out the new set piece meta moving forward. Thanks for taking the time to watch and have a great day.